This one is one that might actually be complicated. Mm. Am I reading too much into this? My boyfriend has a new housemate, a woman. She's a single mom. She's not very attractive, but she has a bright personality. That is so uncalled for. But okay. <laughs> she is very friendly to my boyfriend and also very friendly to me. She hits my boyfriend on the arm when making jokes. Today, she reminded us about how she's going out for 45 minutes and hinted at us having sex while she was gone. She laughs a lot when saying this. She said, if it smells different in here, I'll know and cackles loudly. Earlier, she jokes about how the hot water is working and he can have a shower if he wishes. I tell her he's already had one and she hints at me having a bath and him using a sponge on me, saying it will give him boyfriend points. She laughs again. She also walked into our room on one occasion without knocking. We were holding hands and he pulls his away before she comes through. When she goes out the door, he decides to sit kind of separately on the bed to me. He usually likes showing public affection, so it's weird. On another occasion, she knocks and asks a question at the door. He also pulls away from me, afraid she'll see something. Before he moved in with her, I asked him if it was okay if I visited him at the new place, just to be polite. And he said, she might get jealous with another woman in her house. He said, he'd ask her if it's okay. I mean, of course it is. I mean, why the hell would she be jealous? Now, I don't know what's going on here. It's odd. Any ideas or advice? Welcome. I'm confused. Here's a conversation between the two of them. Babe, today when we were in bed holding hands, Ingrid walked in unexpectedly and you pulled your hand away from me. On another occasion, you pulled away from me when she knocked looking for her son. Also, she made some jokes about us, sexual ones, like she's gone for 45 minutes and we can have sex while she's gone. At one point, she even suggested you bathe me. Is that bothering you? Is it bothering you? That seems normal to me. What are you saying the issue is? I think phase one, <laughs> get to the truth. Phase two, the truth hurts. Okay, I actually don't think I agree with you. Go on. I don't think that anything's going on. I don't think so either. But I can see why she's upset. She has every right to be and he needs to figure himself out. He needs to figure it out. I think that this woman has the opposite sense of humor as OP and I think she's making these jokes because she's trying to be friendly and jovial and get mm. on their good side and be like, hey, I'm cool with you guys dating. When you're cool with something, you don't need to make it say known. It. Yeah, you don't need to say it. You don't need to make it known that you're cool with it. It will just be apparent. It will be obvious when you're cool right. with it. It's also likely that she's just trying to make OP feel more comfortable mm -hmm. and she's like, look, I know that you guys are dating. Like, I know that you're doing your own thing and I'm okay with it. I'm about to be gone. You can do whatever you want while I'm gone. But it's like, OP knows that. She knows right. that she can do whatever she wants. And I yeah. think the boyfriend just feels uncomfortable in his own home and he's trying to create a comfortable environment with his new roommate. He probably feels so awkward awkward about her walking in on him when they're in bed together. I think and they need to get a door lock. I know. I mean, yeah, but that's so rude to walk into someone's bedroom. It's so rude. They need a lock on their door regardless. That's phase one. Get a lock on the bedroom door so that this stops happening. Yeah. Come but on. The jokes aren't going to stop when they get a, yeah. get a lock. They will spend time away from her if they get a lock. She won't keep walking in looking for her son. I know. Who the hell is this woman? <laughs> She's looking for her son? In her roommate's room. How big is your house? How big is your son? <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're right. I, I personally think it's harmless. But if it was me in the situation, it's not harmless. <laughs> There's an issue here. <laughs> yeah, I think that he probably feels so awkward and uncomfortable around her. And it could all be solved very simply when the boyfriend says to his roommate, Hi, two small, very simple requests. Can you not come into my room, especially not without asking? or knocking, can you not make sexual jokes to me or my girlfriend? If she doesn't stop, you right. are not compatible with her as a roommate. Right. Simple. <laughs> phase one, address the roommate. Phase two. Address the roommate. Yeah. Phase one, address the roommate. Phase two, evaluate. Yeah. If we got the outcome we wanted, problem solved. If we did not get the outcome we wanted, read the lease. See how 
possible it would be to break it. Right. And find out how big this sun is and why the sun could possibly be hiding in your boyfriend's yeah, bedroom. How in this is house. she losing a whole human? <laughs> what? She came in looking for her son. Wait, We're I love- laying in my boyfriend's bed and this woman's son might be in here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel bad for the woman because she clearly just has such a different vibe than OP and possibly the boyfriend. Yeah. I also feel bad for the woman because, like, she can't find her son. (laughs) I feel bad for the son. Honest communication is key here. (laughs) Very simple. Okay. Wait, can I just change my last outcome? Yeah. You can always always change your mind based on new information, honey. Thank you. Phase one, find the son. (laughs) Phase two, address the roommate. (laughs) Phase three, evaluate. I think give the roommate two and a half chances (laughs) to implement your changes and here's why you're asking a lot of her to not barge in on you (laughs) huge and to not make sexual comments at your girlfriend right these are big big requests right they are easy to forget (laughs) but when she hits that half marker mistake one strike mistake two i think strike half a mistake (laughs) strike and you lose your son (laughs) so wait no here's how you decide let's say she makes a sexual joke that's strike one let's say she makes another sexual joke that's strike two let's say she makes an innuendo that's a half a strike and she's out okay i was thinking (laughs) let's Let's say you put a lock on the door and she starts knocking to come in. That's fine. That's I, when no, you... no, no. Like standing out there knocking. Like what does she need to come in for? She found her son. She doesn't need a shower. She she's just knocking, knocking, knocking. We don't need to talk to you right now. Give us some privacy. What if she just needs something? Okay, that's fine if she needs something. But if she, what does she need? Give them privacy. The girlfriend's not there all the time. Have you Strike ever two? needed something from? <laughs> from your roommate yeah but not every time they're with their significant well, other like it's happened twice i think we solved <laughs> okay. this one we solved it phase one find the sun phase two address the roommate phase three evaluate in two and a half strikes when i said have you ever needed something from your roommate it reminded me of the line and she's the man the principal of the school have you ever worn heels malcolm <laughs> and he's like no sir very hard very hard to walk in or something like that he's not wrong very hard to run very hard to run in heels anyway she's the man is my number one passion if this is your first time meeting me it won't be the last time i talk about she's the man and that's a promise 